Okay, hello dear friends. So here we have another one. We have just done this one, right? It's quite uh, an artificial color. It's not artificial intelligence, but artificial color. We usually do not see this color of trees and, uh, and branch. Just uh, an imagination. And uh, this one, we relatively, I want to make it more or less, a little bit more um, uh, natural color. So the tree trunk will be brown color, right? We go from here. And uh, you see, I always do the same way. It's kind of tedious, but, uh, but if you can do something right with the same method and improve your skill, I think this is the way to go. What do you think? And some of the background color. That's it. Then I dab, 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 dab. And let it uh, smear in. And then some darker color as the end. does not have to be too accurate and you want it to be free. I use the same brush so I just need to clean it up from time to time otherwise everything else and it does not have to be very 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 pure color. If you see here the color is kind of a, not the perfect color I am in you, you are in me. This kind of uh, a little bit mixtured, melanged color, uh, mixed color is even more interesting. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about it. We leave some room here. Do not worry about it. So it's not perfect, you have a lot of freedom in it. And for the bottom, I want to make it a little bit darker color, right? So I can use teal or even blue color. So here you can see it's a teal color, see? The bottom layer, I will use a dark color. And the other side, where the sunshine, where the light comes, I will use yellow color. See, I have some yellow color here and there. It makes it bright, even more yellow. You can almost not see it, but uh, it just uh, creates a feeling of it and that is enough and that is it the trunk looks a little bit bizarre right get to here and that is the trunk now we can do a little bit highlight of this bridge and that is it we can do some dabbing some color. I always find some color that is within it. And this one we can do some the teal color, greenish color, which is the leaf color. Make sure your color is always have something that goes with some of your 
your painting color, your existing color. That is it. I like to, to, to add some of this splash to make it a bit more lively, vivant. And, uh, and that is it. We have two pieces. Peel it off, the moment of truth. And if it is too dry, uh, too wet, do not peel it. And uh, what we are seeing here, majority of the of the the, the, the the painting and especially the edge is not wet so it will not damage the painting so I can peel it just like that and also what is the big deal right it's just a piece of a practice and um, if someone pays one million dollar to buy it by all means, take it. If nobody buys it for <laughs> one million dollar, it's a, it's a, still you cherish it, and it's just a piece of paper, right? Do I make any sense? A little bit ridiculous what I am saying. <laughs> when I do painting, I am a little bit lost in my own uh, rambling, in my own. Um, this uh, uh, source, the, the, the freedom source, and uh, it, uh, uh, it uh, entertains me just uh, just uh, sink randomly, sink freely, talk freely. I hope uh, this video provides that uh, kind of vibe <laughs> and uh, I intentionally not cutting it out because there is something that is fun and silly in this kind of chat. What do you think? Bye bye friends. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. It takes time. It takes energy. But uh, it's a beautiful time. It's a fun time. It's a, a worthy time.